Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to do the test and review of this uh, pulse width modulation motor controller that they claim is 3000 watt. We are going to go and test it with a small motor. and then with a little larger motor and because uh, we need huge load I'm gonna connect electronic load to draw uh, as much uh, current as possible to see how much current this can handle let's get started with this now this module is to control speed of DC motor and uh, we have input connection for the battery the maximum voltage that this can accept is 50 volts and uh, the amount of current or power have been calculated in different ways so the maximum current that this can handle is 60 ampere and the maximum voltage that you can get with this is 50 so 60 times 50 is 3000 watt if you reduce the voltage to let's say 36 volts 24 or 12 volts just multiply 60 by those voltages and that's the power that this can supply of so this see if this can handle um, the 60 ampere or higher current the module has an input two terminal of the input they put a heavy duty connectors here which can be a fork type or a ring connector and also we have two connectors for the output here labeled as m plus and m minus so you connect your motor and here we have a connector uh, potentiometer with a switch which turns this on and off and also you can control the speed of your motor this connector is not bad and here we have uh, 8 MOSFET here the MOSFET is NCE 7190A which means this can work up to 71 volts and 90 ampere Here's the data sheet for this. It, it's made by uh, NCE power semiconductor. The, the maximum current is 90 ampere. And the drain source resistance when it's turned on is 5.5 milliampere at 10 volts. Typically it's 4.8 ohm. And here are the pin gray, uh, gate drain source. You can see it says the continuous drain current is 90 ampere. 100 degrees Celsius. The continuous current is 60 ampere. Here is the rest of the specification. I am going to provide you the link in case if you need further reading. Then we have uh, here uh, at, at, at this point we have uh, 2H1002 A4 constant current diode or current limiting diode as they call it. Here is a data sheet for that 2H1002 A4 and the symbol that I've created is this one the maximum voltage that across this diode will be 120 volts and here they have different variations and this one that I looked at the module has 28 so typical 28 but um, I have to see and test this I will also provide the link for this as well and here uh, for the output stage here for for the kickback uh, current that comes from the motor because of inductive load we have four diodes here these are the shot key diode these are four diodes at the output stage for the kickback current for inductive load to protect the circuit and these four are 20100 CT here is a data sheet so this is a data sheet each can uh, so each package has two diodes 10 per diode and 20 ampere one of them can handle and I will provide you a data sheet for this one as well uh, the, at the heart of this is two triple five timer IC so the pulse modulation is being produced by this and this potentiometer we are just changing the resistance to generate there is another chip that I've rubbed, uh, rubbed it so we cannot read where it is but the rest is all all of them are readable as you can see that each MOSFET has been biased uh, separately they have their own resistors for the gate and connections all of them NCE 
7190 these are the MOSFETs eight of them and here is the 20100 CT this is a pair of Schottky diode these are here in principle even one of this can handle the amount of current that is going through this but for this for one piece we need huge heat sink and uh, a cooling system so putting it in this configuration eight of those each can handle uh, up around 5 to 10 ampere and then so if this is 10 ampere each so we have 80 ampere immediately with a small heat sink this can handle it the waste of components but uh, it makes it very easy to use without extra uh, cooling system the module length is 122 millimeter by 86.6 millimeter and the depth is 28 millimeter and it weighs 179.6 grams now then put voltage is 12.1 volts and I've connected the DC motor this is just holding it for me and let me turn it on now it's a very minimum at very minimal the controller is connected to the DC motor that I've removed from treadmill this is a 130 volt DC but it can work with almost any voltage depending on the power put voltages now 12 volts and I'm holding this and turning it on now it's at the maximum speed at 12 volts now it's 255 I'm increasing the voltage now let's pay attention the motor is at the maximum now the voltage is 20 volts let's check the speed Five hundred thirty two RPM. Three ninety five is the maximum that we can read here. Let me increase it to thirty volts. If we need the maximum is 466. Absolutely nothing because there is no load but let me increase it to 30 volts. If we need the maximum is 466. Now I have connected this as the input. It goes through, through this wattmeter which shows the power and the current and the input voltage. It comes here at the input and the module is now will be connected from here to the electronic load so I can see if it can handle 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, even 60 ampere. Let's start the test now. The input is 12 volts. Now let's start the test. Input is 12 volts. And here we will see the output voltage and here we will see the current. Because the current 
the amount of current that this one draws at pulse, pulse width modulation will vary so I will not be able to set the current but I'm gonna set the power and uh, so I'm gonna go with constant power and set it at 100 watt now the load is on there is no connection I'm turning this on so my electronic load will try to get 100 watt let's put this at the maximum slowly I'm increasing it it jumps over 100 watt but if I set it at the maximum the electronic load will try to keep up and keep it at 100 watt current is 9 ampere and as you can see this is about 8.9 ampere at the output and 100 watt and input is 108 watt so 8 watt is being uh, consumed here wasted uh, let me increase the power here by 10 I just increased it by 110 and the current is now increased let's go 120 120 I'm changing it here and you will see it 130 and current is increasing let's go 160 so now we are at 200 watt and I'm touching this it's very cool absolutely like nothing is going on because the current is still low this can handle up to 3000 watt so let's go more now we are about 250 watt and you can see 269 watt the input and output is and the amount of current the input is 22.7 ampere and here we see 23 ampere this device is so cool as if nothing is happening yet so let's go for 300 watt now it's 300 watt 28 ampere so input is 12 27.5 is the input and 326 watt is the input and we see 300 watt the output now let's go to 350 so we have reached the limit 350 my can my load can handle up to 350 watt now 33 ampere is going through this because the input voltage here is 11 and current is 32 the output voltage is lower even though I set this at a maximum voltage has dropped it's supposed to be the same voltage at the output but this is a variation so as you can see so the device is slowly getting warm when I say warm it was before cold like room temperature now it's a little warm only this one got heated match these two creased this is now extremely hot just remove this one this MOSFET from here maximum and let me turn the load on so 10 ampere is being drawn here even when one is removed as you can see this is very absolutely normal all these uh, MOSFETs are set parallel so they are just distributing the load across all of them when you remove one of them the remainder of the load will go to the other one so there is no disruption in the, the uh, design of the system except reducing the maximum power so let me do it 11 12 amp 13 
14 now we are at 15 ampere I'm increasing it from here Sixteen, seventeen. I'm going to twenty. So, at the maximum of twenty ampere, it's just warming up. So, uh, input current is about nineteen point one ampere, and the power is two hundred thirty-five watt. It's absolutely normal, it's just room temperature. A little warmer, maybe less than 30 degrees. So let me increase the current now. Now it's at 25 ampere. The output voltage has dropped. So this is a Mm, uh, not a good design that the output voltage is not kept steady 1.1 and the output is 10 but at 25 ampere it's so normal meaning that if you connect a 25 ampere motor with 12 volts it will be very cool and it can run continuously for a long time increase it to 30 ampere now now we are at 30 amp 350 watt input and 320 watt output here so 30 watt is being wasted here still it's very normal at 9 volts as an input 30 ampere let's increase the current 40 35 now 35 ampere is being drawn as you can see here an output instead of 9 is 8.3 but that's also okay it has consistently a 0 0.7 volts drop this is very normal now unbelievable this is very good quality so let me go to 40 now we are at 40 ampere as you can see slowly heating up these are the short key diodes at the output stage but these are the actual MOSFETs so these are not heating up only heat is here finger for a long period nothing So 10 amp, nothing is going on, increasing, it's now 20 ampere, I just jumped, tested it with different voltages, any current above 30 will make this die, as you can see this, compo this uh, MOSFET is bad now I removed it because these are parallel so still it, this can be used with uh, 12 volts I was able to get up to 30 ampere and that's the maximum if you increase the voltage of course the power dissipation also will increase and this will not be able to handle it so at higher voltage you have to reduce it to 20 ampere or maybe even 15 ampere without extra cooling fan or uh, changing the heatsink but if you apply some cooling fan continuously cool this it might be able to handle higher than that which I have not tested it because the whole purpose of this was to be used like this and I definitely recommend this this is a very solid build good module thank you for watching this was the test and review of this pulse width modulation motor controller if you learn something and if you like it please thumb up and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos